Hello, I'm Andrew, aka Quasi from Quasi's Bell Tower. And I'm your brother Brian from Brother Brian Discoveries. And this is Point Rock Review. tonight will be Bud Light Orange. Orange. Hmm. I do not have the Bud Light Lime. I was trying to find it in the six pack and I couldn't. And they only had it in 12 and by the time I decided to grab any, they were just sold out I guess. Mm. But we got the orange. Light lager brewed with real orange peels with natural citrus flavors. Uh, this, if I can find the well, there it is. It's 4.2% alcohol by volume. Okay. Um, and they don't put their IBUs on there, so if you're into IBUs, sorry. But if you're in the Snapchat, hey, man, you can do some Snapchat stuff here on uh, the back of this bottle. I don't really know how Snapchat works. Oh, I, yeah. I know I do have it. I just don't use it very often. Uh, but they got something in there for you, Snapchat users. Hmm. Just funny because most Snapchat users aren't old enough to drink. True. <laughs> it's very true. But, uh, I don't know, we can give this a twist. Yeah, let's give it a, it's a twisty, huh? Okay, let's twist this and open it up. Ooh. That smells like orange. That's orange. That actually smells like orange. Holy crap, did Bud Light do something correct? We'll find out. All that citrus just pops you right in the face. Mm. I know I really shouldn't have to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that smell. Yeah, that's a nice, that's got a nice orange smell to it. It's not, mm -hmm. wow, I think that might just actually be a good beer. Let's find out, Brian, you ready for this? Give it a shot. It's definitely a, a light orange, but it's not like so light that it's, boring right it's kind of there um this doesn't taste like a uh, a bud light in the slightest no no you, you taste nothing but orange that's all i'm getting out of that it's orange i want to describe that as like a watered down orange drink of some sort like a a crush or uh, yeah, yeah, whatever orange Kool Aid would be out there, or not Kool Aid, uh, like an orange soda would be out there. It's just kind of watered down. Um, yeah. The orange is there; it's not sugary, so that's a that's a plus too. I think Bud Light might have actually knocked this one out of the park for once. They have a good one. They now I really wish. Now I really wish I had gotten a line. Even though <laughs> some people would probably not care for it, but I'm curious what it tastes like now. So if anybody wants to be nice enough and send me a lime beer or two, uh, hey, hit me up. Let me know. I'm curious. I, I know I'm not, not going to like it, but I'm curious. Yeah. Next on the list is Smirnoff Ice Red, White, and Berry Limited Edition. It says Blue Raspberry, Cherry, and Citrus. It sounds like an interesting mix for a beer. Yes, it does. It really does. Um, I'm sure this is going to be sweet. It's a Smirnoff... Uh, and Smirnoff uh, drinks are always uh, sweet, and this is, I think, a malt beverage, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, premium malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors. And it's hitting us at 4.5 alcohol by volume. Ooh. So it's not it's not over strong on the alcohol, which is a good thing. Um, so uh, let's uh, open this bad boy up and see what it tastes like. Give her a smell. Hello, sugar. Wow, you can smell you can smell the sugar. Yeah. Wow, the berry in it definitely pops, but it's artificial. You can definitely tell that. It's yeah. It's well, like Kool Aid. It almost smells like Kool Aid in oil. Yeah, it's that that uh, blue raspberry is definitely coming out. Mm -hmm. These are t the the smell of this is reminding me of the uh, the blue ice pops. Yes, the uh, the bomb pops. Sort of in a way. The red, white, and blue ones, just like this is. Well, like, yeah, uh, there's you know, those two. But I'm yeah. talking about the ones they come out of, like a plastic tube. Ah, gotcha, and, gotcha. 
That's what that that blue raspberry is smelling mm -hmm. it is reminding me of. It's all uh, nice and pretty blue. I mean, I don't know why we're pouring it in a glass for you guys to see, even though you can see it in there. Same thing with the Bud Light, but hey, that's what we do. Well, there's a little carbonation in there. Okay. Mm. Not a lot, but a little bit. So you're not going to get much of a head out there. Wow, that is definitely... Uh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's definitely going to be sweeter than the Bud Light, that's for sure. It's definitely got sugar in it. Um, like I said, it's definitely a malt beverage. Um, I usually don't like it when my uh, bomb pops melt, but uh, that's what a bomb pop would be if it was melted. Yes, probably. Let's do this, man. Yeah, that's a bomb pop right there. Y yeah, that's all that's that is. That's a watered down bomb pop. Yeah, if you've ever had any kind of blue raspberry, whether they're hugs or the flavor ice or even the bomb pops, that's all that is. That's it, all that is. But it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. No, it's not too sweet, no. Of course, we've had a lot of sweet beer, so this is... Yeah. So, I don't know if Smirnoff's continuing this thing, but uh, I can see this being a, 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 a normal sun, or summer drink. Yeah, that would, this would be something you would definitely bring back every, like, 4th of July or something, you know? Right. And that's kind of when this came out. came out before the 4th of July. Uh, by the yeah. time you guys see this video, it's going to be... Uh, long after. Because, yeah, long after. Uh, it almost says, like, straight-up watered-down Kool-Aid. Yes. Yeah. Not much sugar in there. Mm -hmm. uh, very watered-down flavor, but you've still got that blue it's, raspberry. It's still got that tangy sweetness to it in a way. It's it's weird. It's got that uh, uh, almost artificial sweetness to it, I guess. It kind of, even though it says it's natural flavors. I don't, I don't. But it's like the cherry that they put, they say is in there, and the citrus. I'm not really getting much of those at all. It's that uh, that blue raspberry that's just that's yeah, hitting the, me. Yeah. The so our first review for tonight is Bud Light's Orange. Um, I'm really impressed with this uh, flavored beer. Um, it doesn't taste like a uh, Bud Light. Um, the orange is just, it's like the perfect amount. It's not too sweet, it's not too watered down. I think uh, i think Bud Light, you did a good job with this. Um, I kind of really like this and I'm actually going to give this a 3.5 ish. It, it's just, it's good, okay? Out of all the oranges I've had or whatever else, you guys did a good job, so 3.5. It definitely meets the bar for me. Um, you guys, uh, I, like that, I like that you're adding more flavors to your beers and doing other things than just Budweiser, Bud Light, mm -hmm. Budweiser, Bud Light. It, it gets boring after a while, but for me it does. Um, I still would love to try your, uh, your Clamato. That has not been available in uh, in my area, or I don't think it's even been available here. I don't even know of that beer, honestly. It's a Bud Light Clamato. They basically put uh, Clamato juice in the in the beer. Oh, okay. And it's uh, Clamato is half tomato juice and half uh, clam juice. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I got you there. Bud that would be Clamato. interesting. I've never seen that in my life. Honestly. I would love to try that. As for the orange, uh, it's good. It it is really good. Um, it does meet the bar for me. And uh, I'm going to say it exceeds it a little bit because you are trying different flavors. So i got to go 3.5 on that. So uh, that's it. Yeah, I think you guys did a good job with this. I uh, honestly really liked it. But as for the Smirnoff, the Smirnoff ice, uh, this little hugs I'm drinking right here. Uh, yes, the uh, red, white, or the blue raspberry and cherry and citrus there. Red, white, and berry. Sorry, Brian. Yeah. Oh, no, Brian. It's, I, I'm glad it's not as overly sweet as the uh, the hugs or the uh, the flavor ice is. Um, it's got the watered down thing. The the alcohol you don't really taste that much. And uh, you know I'm gonna say this definitely meets the bar. I'll say it exceeds it a little bit. I, I might go also 3.5 with this. Um, but this is something I, I think I think this should be available every year. I think I would come out with this probably every 4th of July yeah, or whatever. That makes sense. And uh, just push it out there a little bit. Uh, my opinion on this, on the Smirnoff Ice, uh, Red, White, and Berry, um, this was really good. Uh, 
definitely something I would drink uh, once a year uh, around the 4th of July or the summertime because uh, it's it definitely reminds me of bomb pops I mean it definitely has that uh, frozen uh, icy taste or ice cream or you know you know freaking bomb pops man that's yeah. what it, that, that's it it just tastes like bomb pops okay mm -hmm. um, I thought it was pretty good um, I don't see me drinking a lot of these honestly uh, I would have one and just say, yay, I had my 4th of July bomb pop, you know, mm -hmm. alcohol beverage because, you know, I'm too old for bomb pops, even though you're never too old for bomb pops. I never guess. too old for bomb pops. But, uh, you know, that's more of a, a kid memory thing is basically what that is. You know, that's, you had that and you have this and you're like, hey, I remember having that as a kid. Mm -hmm. Just not without alcohol. And now we have alcohol bomb pops. Right. Thank you, Smirnoff, for the alcoholic bomb pops. I will actually give this a 3.5. I thought this exceeded the bar. Uh, it reminds me of childhood memories, and uh, I thought it was pretty good. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to punch that bomb pop button right in the orange. Yes, right, right in that orange. Right in that orange. So you get that little navel on the orange, right in the orange. Right in the orange. Till next time, guys. Bye. Stop ice cream man, I got money right here. I want a bomb pop. Please give me a bomb pop, ice cream man. Stop me when I'm passing by. <laughs> if you let me cool you one time, you'll be very So by the way, uh Budweiser, Bud Light, you did a good job there. Uh dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. For the dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! My people! Dilly dilly! <laughs> so our first review tonight is the Blood Light. Blood Light, Blood Light. Yeah, I like it when my light, my blood lights up. Okay, one more time over there. Ice cream man, ice cream man. It's like when we were a kid when we lived on base. Anyways, um, when I lived on base, the ice cream man would always show up at a certain spot, and that's where all the kids had to meet the ice cream man. Right. He only made like one, or well, one stop that I know of because mm. you know when I was a kid you just ran, you ran to the big circle that they had. And all the kids would stand there and wait for the ice cream man. It's like certain areas, like every block probably had some kind of certain stop. Yeah. And the ice cream man which it's like you heard him and you just ran from your house. You just, I gotta get, I gotta get there, I gotta get there. I gotta get my ice cream. <laughs> Mom, can I have two dollars? <laughs>